Hello and welcome to Microchips. So my power supply I'd had for the last 30 years decided it wanted to give up. I did try and fix it but couldn't get to the bottom of it and without a schematic diagram it made it very hard. So I decided to get myself another one. So today we're looking at this Jura tool D03233 0 to 18 volt DC and 0 to 3 amp. Um, variable bench power supply so I got this from CPC it was on offer for 30 pound obviously plus fat as you can see there we've got the 18 volt 3 amp regulated version so let's get it out of the box and have a look nicely well packed now this one is not one of these cheap Chinese switch modes I didn't want one of those this is actually linear so it should have a transformer we've got some very thin cables but never mind we've got the IEC cable to plug in the back and by the weight of this it does feel like it's got a transformer in it so on first look it's it's quite small but it's okay let's have a look at the front so basic as you would expect voltage control current limiting power on and off usual binding posts with banana plug um, sockets on the front so we've got a constant voltage and a constant current mode on this Here's the rear, as you can see it's got a fan, the IEC socket, the fuse. So, in the words of another great YouTuber, let's not turn it on, let's tear it apart. So inside, you can see we do have a transformer. So we've got a circuit board to control the LCD displays. And we've got our main power regulation um, unit at the back. Presume that's some form of thermal switch, maybe to kick the fan in. But it's basic, as you would expect. And we can just see down there, sandwiched between the board, there's our main uh, power regulator transistor well I presume it's a transistor of some sort everything looks good looks well put together and there's a transformer as you would expect yeah I didn't want to switch mode due to RF noise and yeah Anyway, let's switch it on. So nice bright green displays. So we're up to 18.4 volts and down to down to minimum. And the controls feel nice and smooth. So let's give it a test. So I've got it hooked up to my multimode 2 and we've switched it on. We get 250 milliamps on standby will transmit with a constant carrier again 1.75 amps that's with the radio outputting about 4 watts so we'll just move the constant current down as you can see constant voltage light goes off and then the constant current light comes on so we'll put it back up to maximum current again We'll go onto sideband and we'll whistle it up. Oh, two and a half amps. Very good. Meters are nice and responsive. Now, as I was testing it, the fan kicked in. And it is quite noisy. A 
I would think under harder load this fan would be on all the time at the moment it's just switching on and off every 10 minutes or so I should think if we're loading it up with 3 amps the fan's going to come on all the time but as long as it keeps it cool so all in all a cheap power supply I think I'm happy with this it should do for what I want I don't use anything over maybe 15 volts so like 12 13 5 volts is always handy plus if I want to charge some um, cells up I can put it into constant current mode but all in all I think I'm happy with my purchase anyway don't forget to like subscribe thanks for watching and we'll see you again